Hi everyone, I'm so happy to see you here. I'm Yolanda, Bravo Hotel 6, Papa Julia Lima. HD1 has been on the market for six years. We are looking forward to the arrival of HD1. Now, I will show you more details about HD2. Of course, the main focus is on the difference from HD1. HD2 is the same as HD1, strong and sturdy. Just like Ham said, as strong as a hammer, they are both IP67 waterproof and dustproof. The original HD1 does not support a Type-C charger. We made a Type-C on the battery. Now, HD1 and HD2 both support Type-C. If your HD1 battery does not support Type-C, you can buy a battery separately. Here, uh, I want to emphasize that the accessories of HD1 and HD2 are compatible with each other. We can see that the front shell of HD1 and HD2 is different, except it. The PTT of HD2 is different from HD1. Hair and hair. They are different. When we take the radio outdoors, whether we take it with a belt clip or just put in it in the bag, we can avoid in advertent the transmission as much as possible. Also to avoid the channel being switched unintentionally, we have a propriety increase the damping effect of the knob. When we get the HD2, you can try and feel the, the difference between HD1 and HD2. The damping effect is different. HD2 also added an, an alarm function key. As harm, we may go outdoors with the radios or we will volunteers at some rescue organizations. If the radio has an alarm function, it's better. We may don't use the function, but it's necessary. We designed a protection for the alarm key. If you press horizontally, will not trigger the alarm unless you press it like this. After talking about some difference in hardware structure design, let's take a look at the functions. We know that HD1 is a front panel programming radio. 90% of settings can be completely with the radio keypad. HD2 retains the advantages of HD1 and makes some optimizations. When we don't need to import lots of contact and channel information, we don't even need the software. Menu. We can turn on the HD2 and uh, cancel. Now it's uh, we channel mode. Channel mode two. Short price exit key. We can switch channel mode and uh, we add we add VFO mode. Long price. Once enter VFO mode. Long price exit and we can switch analog and digital mode then enter the menu band a or band b set we can set all the information and save it as a new channel there are difference between hd1 and hd2 in the set band a and b set uh, it the difference is DTMF and Receive OCC. Receive OCC is color code promiscuous. 
Lots of hams will allow it, similar to contact promiscuous. Under the main set, the menu. Under the main set, HD1 only has 20 menu list, but HD2 has 32 menu list. From this, we can know that HD2 has more functions and supports more settings where the radio keypad. I will show you some main ones. First, double PTT. Double PTT is very useful. You can set a set key as sub PTT. Press PTT to transmit the band A and press the sub PTT to transmit the band B. So we no need to switch the main and the sub channel. It's still band PTT, double PTT. Then it's uh, uh, Bluetooth. HD2 has a built-in Bluetooth module. You can use all the red with Bluetooth earpiece and speaker mic with it. In the future, we can let it support app programming where Bluetooth. Have this plan? You can look forward to it. Then another is brightness. Brightness, you can set the radio to different brightness according to your environment. And the HD2 has the night mode. You can also choose whether to enable it. Another function is lock mode. It's another useful little function. You can lock the keypad or lock the keypad and the channel knob or you can lock the keypad channel knob and the PDT you can do whatever you want HD1 is a dual band DMR radio and the HD2 supports three band in IARU reading you can use 225 megahertz and the US warning supports NOAA weather scan and alert give you real-time reminders of weather condition as the number of DMR ID registrations increases HD2 also increases the number of contacts the address book contact increase from 200,000 to 500,000 and the priority contact increase from 1,000 to 5,000 and you also can edit the priority contact where the radio keypad easily in addition to the functions mentioned above HD2 dual band dual mode DMR radio also supports GPS a uh, 3200 light capacity battery, high power, FM broadcast, cross band receive and transmit, 3000 channels, DCDM, scan, and so on. Regarding the high power, HD2 at a low power of 0.5 watts for using hot pots, like MMDVM. And the scan is different from HD1. In VFO mode, HD2 supports setting a scan start frequency and uh, uh, end frequency, more convenient for our daily use. HD2 has many other designs worth of your expectations. Of course, it will also have some shortcomings. You are welcome to give us more feedback and suggestions. 
we will continue to update the firmware and optimize the HD2 to make it better.